In this video, we'll talk about the density operator. Now, before defining it, let's see what is ensemble of pure states. In quantum mechanics, a pure state is a state that can be described by a single wave function or a ket vector psi. And an ensemble of pure state is a collection of pure state, each representing a possible state of a quantum system along with their corresponding probabilities. In other words, it is a probability distribution over pure states given as pi into psi i. Now we define density operator for the system as rho equal to summation i pi into outer product of psi i state. The density operator is also known as the density matrix. So far we have formulated quantum mechanics with the help of the state vector but quantum mechanics can be reformulated with the density operator for a closed system initially in the state psi i with probability pi, the evolution of this quantum system is described by the unitary operator u such that psi i transformed by the unitary operator u gives us u times psi i. So similarly, the evolution of the density operator is described as rho equal to summation i pi into outer product of psi i undergoing evolution gives us summation i pi u times psi i into psi i times u dagger. Since u is linear, we can take u outside. So rho will be equal to u times summation i pi outer product of psi i into u dagger. And this thing is a density operator rho. So the evolution of rho to rho dash is equal to u rho times u dagger. Now let us define an important matrix function known as trace of a matrix. So for a matrix A, the trace of A is defined to be the sum of its diagonal elements. That is trace of A would be equal to summation i a i i where a i i represents all the diagonal elements. So some of the general properties of trace are trace of a b for two arbitrary matrices a and b will be equal to trace of b a. Similarly, trace of a plus b is equal to trace of a plus trace of b and trace of z times a where z is a scalar will be equal to z times trace of a. From this property, we can also see that trace of a matrix is invariant under unitary similarity transformation where when a transforms to u a u dagger which is a unitary similarity transformation which implies trace of u a u dagger will be equal to trace of from this property u dagger will come this side so u u dagger a and u u dagger is i since u is a unitary operator which would be equal to trace of i times a which is nothing but trace of a. So these two are equal. That means trace of a matrix is invariant under unitary transformation. The measurements in quantum mechanics can also be described in the density operator language. For an initial state psi i, the probability of getting result m is given as p of m for the initial state i equal to psi i m dagger m into psi i where m dagger is a measurement operator. In terms of trace we can write probability as p of m i equal to trace of psi i m dagger m psi i which can be further written as equal to trace of m dagger m into outer product of psi i. Here we have used the property that bra of psi into a which is a matrix into ket of psi can be written as trace of a into outer product of psi as you can see here. Now the total probability of getting m is p of m equal to summation i p of m i which is probability with respect to initial state i into p i which is the probability of initial state. So p of m would be equal to summation i p i into p of m i is trace of m dagger m 
into outer product of psi i and if I take p i inside I will have p of m equal to trace of m dagger m summation i p i since it is a scalar outer product of psi i and this is our density operator rho so the total probability of getting m p of m can be written as trace of m dagger m into density operator rho now after obtaining the result m the post measurement state psi i m will be equal to m into psi i divided by root under bra of psi i into m dagger m into cat of psi i the corresponding density operator for the ensemble of state psi i m is rho m which is equal to summation i p i m into the outer product of state psi i m where probability of state i after result m is p i m equal to probability of getting outcome m in the initial state i into probability of the state i divided by the total probability of getting m so rho m which is the density operator for the post measurement state would be equal to summation i putting this value of p i m which would be equal to p m i into p i divided by p of m into cut of psi i m is equal to m operating on psi i divided by root under this whole term into the bra of psi i m which would be conjugate transform of this term which is bra of psi i into m dagger divided by now we can substitute the value of p of m and p of m i which will give us rho of m equal to summation i p i and p of m i is this term and p of m is this term into this would be m into outer product of psi i into m dagger divided by this would be bra of psi i m dagger m into cut of psi i so these two terms cancel out after cancelling these two terms we are left with rho of m equal to summation i p i m outer product of psi i into m dagger divided by trace of m dagger m rho and if i take summation i p i here it would be equal to rho so finally rho of m would be equal to m rho m dagger divided by trace of m dagger m into rho so this is the density operator for post measurement state now let's see some general properties of density operator given by a theorem where an operator rho is the density operator associated to some ensemble with probability p i and state psi i if and only if it satisfies the condition that trace of rho should be equal to 1 and rho must be a positive operator so we can prove that trace of rho is equal to 1 so suppose rho is equal to summation i p i into outer product of psi i then trace of rho would be equal to summation i p i into trace of outer product of psi i and trace of outer product of psi i would be equal to the inner product of psi i which is equal to 1 so trace of rho would be equal to summation i p i which is the total probability which is equal to 1 similarly we can prove that rho is positive by taking bra of psi for any arbitrary state psi into rho into psi equal to summation i p i to bra of psi and rho would be the outer product of state psi i into cut of psi so this would be equal to summation i p i into square of the inner product with psi and psi i and this term is lesser than equal to 1 which implies the total term must be greater than equal to 0 which implies rho is positive operator and if rho satisfies these two conditions then we can write rho in its spectral decomposition as rho equal to summation j lambda j into outer product of the states j where j are all orthogonal and lambda j are eigenvalues of rho now let's see the four postulates of quantum mechanics 
in terms of density operator so the postulate one which says that any isolated physical system can be described by a state vector psi so writing it in terms of density operator the system can be completely described by a density operator rho equal to summation i pi into rho i with pi probabilities similarly the postulate 2 which talks about the evolution of a closed quantum system can be written in terms of a density operator as rho dash equal to u rho times u dagger as we saw it here similarly the postulate 3 which talks about the quantum measurements given in terms of the state vector psi can be written in terms of our density operator as we saw here where the total probability is given in terms of trace of m dagger m into rho for the measurement operator m and the post measurement density operator rho m is given in terms of this equation and finally the postulate 4 which talks about the composite system if the individual system were represented by the state vector psi i we can represent those individual systems with a density operator rho i's such that the joint state of the total system can be given by rho 1 tensor product rho 2 tensor product till rho n so i hope you understood the concept of density operator in quantum mechanics and how we can reformulate quantum mechanics in terms of the density operator